Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? You know who it is. <laughs> That's the stupidest intro. Hey, guys, what's going on? Drew Profit Monsters here at my favorite spot, not Family Dollar, the Goodwill Outlet. And uh, I'm going to stay here for a couple hours today, try to get a sweet haul, and I'll get some photos and videos. Not videos, not photos. What is wrong with me today? I'm trying to get some video footage inside for you guys, show you what it's like to be at the bins, and then I'll show you the haul at the end of the day. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go. All right guys, we're back from the bins and I'm outside because the weather is beautiful. Asher's playing on his treehouse. I don't know if you can see him all the way back. He's got a massive Nerf gun uh, right there. It's bigger than him. And uh, the lighting inside my house was just not really good with the sun today. So I just decided to bring it outside and show you guys what I got. So let's go through the whole haul. I didn't get a lot of clips inside the bins because there were so many resellers there that I was just trying to find stuff. So I got some pretty cool pieces. I'm excited to show you. First off, I'll do these shoes real quick. I got these Teva sandals. Uh, these are women's, um, just like strap sandals. Uh, these are in really good condition. They're like almost brand new, uh, barely worn. And I should be able to get somewhere between 25 to 30 bucks for these. I also got these, let me take the rubber band off. These Nike Free 5.0s. They're just overall pretty clean. Um, they're, they got some scuffs on them, but, uh, they're in decent shape, not really too worn out or anything like that. And there's no rips or tears on the back. Uh, the original soles are still in there. And so these should bring at least 25 to $30 as well. Nike free runs are good pickups. They're just solid selling shoes. Um, that's what I wear is I actually have them on right now. Nike free runs. So, all right, let's move to the clothing. Cause that's really what I picked up. I got this super dope Tommy Hilfiger uh, knit sweater right here with a crazy color block. You can see on this side right here, it's a little bit discolored from the pink um, or like the reddish of the sweater, but I'm trying to get it out with a little bit of OxyClean and stuff, uh, but it's a really nice sweatshirt, uh, sweater, whatever you want to call it, in really good shape. Um, I've been having really good luck selling these for anywhere from like $39 to $59, depending on the color blocking. So I'll probably list this one a little bit higher, somewhere around 50 bucks. If you guys saw my Instagram post, I got these two Spider-Man 2 shirts. These things are really cool with the tag. Um, just a nice graphic on this one with Spider-Man screen printed and then the graphic on the back as well. Tagged large, extra large, um, and they're super clean. There's no stains, no rips, nothing like that. So, and then here's the other one on the other Spider-Man 2 tag, just like that. Um, really cool size extra large nothing on the back on this one there is a little like dr pepper promo on the sleeve i guess um, but still a pretty cool shirt um, nice color and nice graphic on it very clean next i got this really big london fog jacket um, a lot of people have mixed feelings about london fog i seem to go towards them because other people don't like them um, I've sold jackets like this for anywhere from $40 to $60, depending on the uh, type of jacket. This one has a, a removable hood, and it's just really long and nice. Um, it's like a suede material or whatever, and it's just in really good shape. So this is a size medium, but you can see like, you know, this is good for someone in New York or, you know, where it's snowing. The uh, cuffs are really good, and then the hood comes up, obviously. So I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this one considering this was about three pounds at the bins. So I paid about four bucks for it. And you know, that would probably be like 10 to 15 at my Goodwill. I got this vintage white tag right here, Nike 
swoosh with the embroidery made in the USA. It's not single stitch, but um, it's definitely older. It's in really good shape, no rips or tears, no stains. Um, and it's a really cool color. This, this color was like a really popular 90s Nike color. So uh, yeah, it's a good, good pickup. And moving on, I got this really cool dead stock Universal Studios Jurassic Park shirt here. And there's a little sticker that's still on it that says changes colors in the sun. So I'm in the sun, kind of. All right, let's see. And it's definitely a little darker. That's pretty cool. So this is a really nice shirt. It's not old, but it says Jurassic Park instead of Jurassic World, which I think is cool. And it's got a universal screen printed tag on it. This was a really, really cool pickup. This is the long game tag right here. I don't know how old this is, but it's super dope. Um, full graphic on all sleeves and sides and front and back. It's got the whole 1955 Dodgers World Champions team there. Really cool. Um, anyone that's a Dodgers fan would absolutely love this. It's super clean, no rips or stains and just a beautiful piece. So a nice pickup there. This is just a classic Columbia PFG polo shirt right here. These are easy pickups just because they sell quick. They're not a lot of money, but I mean, 15, 20 bucks. I got this 90s color block Chaps polo uh, shirt right here. And you can see right there with the tag Chaps Ralph Lauren and uh, just a nice color blocking here. Nothing crazy, but everything I found was like really clean and uh, just in good shape. So I'm really happy with the finds. This is a Burberry Brit polo. I don't really know much about Burberry and the brand, but I looked these up and these are like anywhere from 70 to $90 new. So I figured for a used one, if it's legit, which it looks like it is to me because there's also a Burberry tag right there on the inside. So um, I'm thinking I could probably get 25, 30 bucks for this. It's in really good condition. Next up is the classic Lee Sport tag right here. It's a uh, vintage Atlanta Braves shirt and uh, it's just embroidered really nice. And then on the Lee Sport right there, I'm thinking this is probably like 10 or 15 bucks, but I couldn't leave it um, just because it was cool. And, uh, and when it's on an older tag, I just love picking those things up. This is really heavy. So I tried looking up some comps on this and I couldn't find anything. So if you know anything about it, let me know in the comments, but this says Nike Ultra Marathon, Run the Earth. Uh, I found some shirts, but I couldn't find much on the hoodies. This thing's really heavy, and then it's got a big Nike on the back as well. And uh, man, this is just really cool. It's on the red tag Nike swoosh right there. So um, just a really cool piece and, and clean, no stains or anything like that. So, I mean, I'll probably list it for like somewhere around 30 bucks. Another hoodie right here is this Air Jordan Jumpman hoodie. This is kind of like a charcoal gray black. My, the lighting right now is making it look a little purplish or reddish, but um, it's definitely more like a black um, with some fade. There's the tag, the Jumpman right there. This is tagged XL, but I think this would fit probably a large um, a lot better, but nothing on the back, but this front is kind of like the um, embroidered and then the like the fuzzy fill, I guess you could call it. I'm not really sure what that is. So, but if you're interested in any of these pieces, they're all super clean. Let me know. I'll give you a really good deal on them. This is a Zork Eye shirt. Now this is uh, an old game from like 1983. I actually didn't know what it was and I looked it up, um, but I don't know if this is, I'm assuming it's a reprint because of the tag. I think it's a uh, all, st all style apparel and um, it's like all crinkled up but um, I'm not 100% sure about this. I picked it up because some, some of the games, like the original Zork game, are selling for a lot of money, so I figured someone who plays games would like this shirt. If not, I mean, I can definitely make my money back. I paid like a dollar for it, so it was worth the risk. And last but not least, I got this SeaWorld jacket. I thought this was kind of cool. Someone actually handed this to me at the bins. They said they didn't want it. And I just recently sold a SeaWorld hoodie. So I figured I'd take it. It's on like a Mirage tag, but it's just a nice little zip up uh, SeaWorld jacket. And it's got pockets right here. 
um, and it's like quilted on the inside. So this is just a nice little pickup. I think this will be a good $25 jacket. So that's pretty much the haul guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I didn't get a lot more content at the bins. It's just with so many resellers there, you're already competing for stuff. But I think I got some good stuff. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought was the coolest find of the day. And let me know what you found at the bins recently. And if you found anything amazing, please share it with me. Also, follow me on Instagram if you're not at Drew underscore thrifts and flips. I'll put it somewhere over here. I don't know. Uh, but follow me at, on Instagram because I post a lot of my stuff there. And if you want to pick up anything, um, it's a lot easier to communicate through Instagram than YouTube. So Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace money.